Okay, so Southwest Airlines is being sued. The uh, the a flight attendant uh, allegedly finds a hidden camera in the lavatory. Uh, according to the uh, company, though, uh, they investigated the claim. Said they didn't. Uh, said there was no camera, but that the incident was a prank, and that the behavior is not condoned. So, with that uh, confusing wording, they're saying no camera, but there was some kind of prank involving something, and the behavior is frowned upon. So, it sounds like they did find a camera. Uh, the uh, alleged incident did happen, but they're trying, they don't want to admit to it. We're going to turn now to that alarming allegation against Southwest Airlines. A flight attendant suing, claiming a camera was installed in a plane's bathroom, and pilots were watching the feed while flying the plane, but the airline says there was never a camera there. So, Paula Ferris, you're going to clear this up for us? I'm going to try to. Good All morning, right. Robin. Good morning, everyone. She is suing both the pilots and the airline. Her attorney says she has risked her career by making this incident public and has been subjected to retaliation by Southwest Airlines. This morning, Southwest Airlines is under fire after a flight attendant filed a lawsuit alleging there was an iPad hidden in the laboratory. Flight attendant Renee Steinecker filed the complaint alleging that she made the discovery on a flight from Pittsburgh to Phoenix back in 2017 when she was called into the cockpit so that the captain could use the restroom. It was then that Ste I I don't know much about piloting and stuff, but... Do the flight attendants need to be in a cockpit when one of the pilots uh, leave? Don't isn't isn't that why the co-pilot is there for when there's uh, a need for one to be away? Anikar says she found an iPad mounted to the windshield near one of the co-pilot's seats, live streaming a video from the laboratory. And it occurred to her that. She, having used the lavatory, as had many of the other attendants and passengers, had likely been filmed by these two uh, pilots while they were flying the airplane. The lawsuit also alleges that Steinecker was directed by a supervisor that she was not to talk to anybody about what happened and was warned that if this went public, no one, I mean no one, would ever fly our airline again. Yeah, because nobody will want to fly on an airline where the pilots are live streaming them using the restroom. Now, if, the, if that incident did happen, then uh, this, this airline is in for a class action lawsuit and should be put out of business uh, for uh, the sake of uh, what... Uh, privacy violations and uh, uh, you know this this is just extremely shady behavior to uh, try to uh, sweep under the rug this kind of behavior that these uh, pilots are uh, are uh, showing uh, towards the customers that are uh, using their airline service and having their privacy invaded while they're using their restroom when it's supposed to be a uh, private space. Steinecker also alleges in court documents that the co-pilot admitted that it was live streaming and that the camera was hidden so that no one would ever find it. Oh, live streaming? The, the, the co-pilot admitted to it. If um, Now, if that is true as well, then he can be subpoenaed um, and forced to testify. And uh, if he... If he lies, then, well, that, that won't be so good on him because he'll end up, you know, going to jail over perjury or contempt of court. But uh, he will be the key witness. The pilots responding to the lawsuit are denying the allegations. That conduct is uh, reprehensible. Uh, that conduct is something that should have immediately been uh, investigated by Southwest Airlines. The airline tells ABC News they will vigorously defend the lawsuit and that the... Yeah, because they're being sued. They're not going to, you know, they don't want to allow the public to know that 
they're spying on their customers. The company looked into the report immediately, adding, We can confirm from our investigation that there was never a camera in the laboratory. The incident was an inappropriate attempt at humor, which the company did not condone. Um, what, what was an attempt at humor? Putting a camera in the bathroom and live streaming it? I mean, because that, that is not very humorous for people to be spied upon. Um, you know, a, a better attempt of humor would be a knock-knock joke or, or something, something, something with a punchline. Not being spied upon, though. That is not, uh, not humorous. But this shows that something did happen that they don't want to admit to because they know it's going to ruin their business if people, if they were to admit, yeah, our pilots are uh, spying on people. But hey, you should fly our airlines. Nope. Uh, this company is going to go down and probably down for good.